<laughs> Want role plays without the ads? For just $3 a month on Patreon, you'll not only gain early access to my role plays, you'll also be able to vote on which role play I make for the week. Or for $5 a month, you'll get a new and exclusive girlfriend role play each week. Head over to Patreon to check it out today. Or if you're interested in staying closer to home, check out Vixie Voices YouTube memberships, where for just $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as a badge next to your name whenever you comment, and adorable emojis to post as well. Check out the links below for more information. And don't forget to head over to Teespring to get your Vixie Voice merch today. Link is in the description. The following roleplay is rated T, appropriate for ages 13 and older. Yeah, after they called the manager, you can pretty much guess what they said to me. Of course they're not going to honor the return. It was over 20 years old. The fact that it was even still intact was incredible. So they got all pissy and threw a fit all the way to their car. Ugh, I don't get paid enough for this, and I can't wait to finally get out of this dead end nine to five. Anyways, how's your day been? I see you've got a bunch of bags. Someone went shopping. What last minute thing are you prepping for? <laughs> what do you mean, what am I talking about? You always just get new things when you're about to do something or go somewhere. So, where's the party at? Oh, it's your cousin's wedding. Lots of fun, lot of love, and fancy food. What more could you ask for? Well, that is true. I can imagine your family constantly asking when the next one's going to be is definitely a buzzkill. So, let me guess. It's tomorrow in another town and you forgot because of your work schedule being so erratic. Wow, it's almost like you've done this for years now and I'm starting to worry if you'll ever figure it out. Honestly, I don't remember you mentioning a wedding to me. You know that I would have loved not to remind you until the last second for you? Seriously though, where's it at? Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. And there we go. I got you a room at the hotel nearby. It's nothing fancy, but it's a bed. And it's not your parents' place. Mm. I messaged you the details. Just Venmo me the money when you get back. As for a wedding gift... Just get them a card with one of those gift cards that works with everything. Although make sure it's more than $75. Seriously, they will clock you on that when they send out their thank you cards. Don't give me that look. I'm helping you avoid a super uncomfortable family convo later. Trust me. Go get packing. The more sleep you get, the more prepared you're going to be for this whole event. You know how exhausting family weddings are. You've seen the movies. I just feel bad that you're going to be there by yourself. Well, no, actually. I was going to head into town and check out the new arcade. Other than that, I really don't have any plans. Why? You want me to go to this wedding with you? Well, I mean, I guess that would make sense. Your family does know me. And I am available. What are you planning on wearing? Trust me, at a wedding, if we match, then people will know that I'm your supervisor. Okay, I definitely have something that will work. Yeah, it's the perfect amount of comfortable and formal. You've seen it before. Remember the last time we went bar hopping with the rest of the group? Yeah, I wore it then. Yeah, exactly, it'll work. Just, just trust me. What time do I need to be over at your place? Yes, I'll meet you bright and early to drag your ass out of bed. So why don't you go ahead and keep packing, because we got a long night ahead of us. I'm gonna go start myself. I'll see you in the morning. Bye!
Yeah, it was a nice ceremony. I'm glad it was a nice day considering the venue was all outdoors. I am so happy to be in this long sleeve. Some of these people are going to be rocking some bizarre tan lines when they get home. Oh, there's no amount of SPF that can save them. They're going to head to the bar and completely forget about everything and everyone. Have you ever been to a wedding before? Well, this is pretty much it. You go to a ceremony where you listen to them talk about how amazing they are, while all of us that were invited are thinking about the meal after. Oh, it's a free, fancy meal that the bride and groom get to smell while making their rounds, thanking all of us for showing up. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Then right as the alcohol hits, the speeches start going. Mm. That's why you go to a family wedding, because if there's any, you know, drama, it gets unearthed here. This is where loved ones get unhinged. Believe me, this is where it all goes down. Especially once that alcohol peaks. Well, you're either going to have some good drama, or you're going to have some people burying hatchets. Oh, speaking of which, here comes your cousin with his new bride. Just say how happy you are for them. Thank you so much for having me. Everything was amazing. Yeah, the venue, the arrangements, the dress, everything. Perfect. Congrats. Thanks again. And now we can continue eating. Yep, that's it. They're gonna go continue to say thank you to everybody, sit down and eat, have some cake, then motor on out of here. Well, yeah, they gotta get ready for their honeymoon, right? <laughs> they wanna beat the traffic before we start clogging up the parking lot. <laughs> Oh, right. After speeches. You get the cake, and then people start dancing for the rest of the night. It's a pretty straightforward schedule. Oh, yeah, the dancing is just for us. They gotta get out of here so that way they can make their honeymoon. And we're the special ones that are able to witness your newly blended family getting down. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we can definitely bounce on out of here after the cake. You can tell your folks that you brought a gift and that your obligation is done. I just want some cake before we go. Trust me when I say that I came prepared. Just, just trust me. Oh, oh no, you can't ask me more questions. It's time for speeches, oh. Shh, your cousin's weird twin is talking and I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Well, that was wild. Every speech was sobbing, and the bride's best friend is definitely in love with her. Your family doesn't have drama normally. We're the ones that bring it. <laughs> Proudly. <laughs> but it looks like your family holidays are about to get a lot more lively. I'm so glad I can finally take my shoes off. Oof. Oof. Speaking of which... <laughs> Your poor cousin was running around all day trying to keep everything perfect for his new wife. I'm pretty sure he got sunburnt. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. It was a nice ceremony. It was a pretty quiet night. No drama. Hmm. I wonder what that's like. It still feels bizarre to me, right? No drama. Especially at a family gathering. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> and I'm glad that your parents still like me. And I think it's absolutely adorable that they think I'm the positive influence in your life. <laughs> you're right. I think they think you're going to wake up one day and realize that you can plan ahead of something. <laughs> and I think that it's sweet that you talk about me to them. I didn't realize you thought so highly of me. It is sweet to know. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> Here, I brought half of a cake to you. Don't ask me questions. Just enjoy it with this fancy fork that I also just happen to have. <laughs> Are you going to enjoy some or not? That's what I thought. I'm going to go change, and when I come back, there had better be cake left over, because I can't wait to hear all the things that you told your parents about me. 